Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna go over how to customize your lawn care website header and footer. Before you can get started customizing your header and footer, you need to have done two things. First, you needed to have installed the actual website template itself. And second, you've needed to configure global colors and fonts. If you haven't yet done these two things, please go back and watch the previous videos. However, if you've done them, let's jump in and get started. So if you recall from our last video, we left off customizing our lawn care website and we left only two things. We left our header and our footer. Now, this is what we want it to look like. So here we want some menu options on the left. On the right, we want our logo in the center. And then when we come down, we want something similar. So let's get started editing our header. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. All right, and so we want to have a couple menu options on the left, a couple menu options on the right, the logo in the center, and then we also want to add some styling to the menu options. So see when I hover, it turns gold, and then the active section is um, gold and underlined. So let's start there. I'm going to come back to my editor, and I will click Edit Header. All right. So what we want to do is delete this box. We don't need that anymore. We want to duplicate our menu and move it over. All right, so I'll start by making this left aligned. And let's go ahead and make this column width about 30%. And then we'll do the same for the other menu. So that'll leave us about 40% for the logo. All right, so now let's go ahead and update our actual menus. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll click the menu itself, come over to content, and then right under this layout and menu section, I'm seeing go to the menu screen to manage your menus. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. So currently, So currently we have one menu, the main menu, and it lists all of our different sections. But now what I want to do is I want to have a menu on the left and a menu on the right. So these are going to be two separate menus. So what I'll do is I'll click create new menu. We'll start with the left. Click create menu. And now we'll start pulling in our links. Now these aren't since our, our website is one page, we're not going to be able to pull in pages, but rather we're going to pull in custom links. So what I'm going to do is put the quote unquote URL and the link text. So if you see from our demo website, when I click services and about us and uh, excuse me, why us and about us, you're not seeing a URL change. And that's because we're doing things a little differently. So let's go ahead and show you that. Okay, <clears throat> so if you can see here, we've got these little gray boxes and these are called menu anchors. And so what I've done above each section is I've added menu anchors. So in this case, we've got about, we've got why us, we've got services, contact, FAQs, and testimonials. All right. So now what we can do, and then of, oh, up here we have, let's see, quote. All right, so now what we can do is come back to our actual menu and we'll do a little trick. So we'll do hashtag about, and then we'll call it about. This hashtag um, signifies you're gonna be using a menu anchor. Uh, so let's do this, why us, and then services. And it's important to note that um, this is case sensitive, so I wouldn't want to make the Y or the U uppercase. So it's important that it matches exactly. All right, so Y us and then hashtag services. Oh, and as you can see here, add to menu. All right, so we'll save this one. And now we'll do the same thing 
for the right side. Custom links. And let's just make sure we've got the ordering down. So we've got about us, why us, services. Then we've got contact, FAQs, and then client reviews. So when we modified the original green lawn care site where it was just one menu, um, we changed the order of the sections. So now we want the sections to be content, excuse me, contact, FAQs, and then client reviews. So we're gonna change this order a little bit so it's um, in the correct order. So what we'll do is come back to our menu and we'll do hashtag contact, call it contact. And then we'll do FAQs. And then we will do hashtag testimonials. And I think in this site, I'm calling it client reviews. All right, we'll save this menu. Now we'll come back to our tab where we're editing the header. And so I'll change this menu by coming over to layout menu and selecting the left menu. You may need to refresh the page. So let's just go ahead and update this. So our left menu and then our right menu. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our styling to these menu options. So when I click this, uh, menu, I'll come over to style. And then on the normal state, we want it to just be white, so no changes there. On the hover state, what we want is we want the text color to be gold. All right. And then on the active color, we want it to be gold and underlined. And so right now, I'm not seeing the option to make it underlined. And that's because I have to come over to contact. And then for the pointer, I have to set that to underline. And now you probably can't see it because of the blue box, but there is a slight gray underline. Let me show you what I mean. So when I come to style, now when I come over to hover, I do see a pointer color, but we don't want a color on hover. So what we'll do is we'll set the pointer color to the navy blue. And so it'll blend in and we'll only see the gold color. Then we'll come to active and set this as gold. And once the site is live, you'll be able to see this in action better. All right, so now what we can do is, I'll show you how to do that again, but if you'd like, what you can do is just copy and then paste style. But let me show you how to do it again. So this time, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set the pointer to be underlined. When we do this, we're seeing more options under style and hover and active. So let's go ahead and set our text color to gold and our pointer color to blue, because remember on hover, we just want the color to change. And then on active, we want the text to be gold and the underline to be uh, gold as well, which we'll be able to observe once we actually um, update the site and then go check it out. All right, so we've got our menu options set. Now the next thing that we need to do is set our logo. So I'm gonna click this bo box up here and this widget is actually a site logo widget. You could very well just bring in the image widget, but the thing is, if your logo changes, then you'll need to update it in multiple places. So it's be you're better off to just actually use the site logo widget. To actually change this site logo widget, you won't do it from the page editor itself. You'll do it from the global settings. So when I click this, it says to edit the logo of your site, go to site identity. Let's click site identity. All right, now we'll pull in our site logo. If you haven't yet uploaded yours, you can go ahead and do that now by dragging and dropping it into the screen. All right, insert media, perfect. And I'll see this once we save the changes. If you're wondering what site favicon or favicon is, it's this little icon up here. Uh, we're not creating one for the purposes of this demonstration. It's a little off topic, but if you do wanna create one, I recommend going to Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com creating a um, canvas that's 512 by 512, and then just creating your logo. All right, so now that we've got that set, we will go ahead and click update. And now we'll click back to the actual page editor. And let's go ahead and refresh this so we can actually see. Okay, so one other thing that we wanna do is we wanna center this logo because right now it's not centered. 
So we'll click Edit Header, and then we'll move it to the center. Let's try and update this and just go check it out. Okay, there we go. Not sure why it's not updating here, but when we go ahead and refresh the page, we are. So let's see where we're at. As I scroll, all right, about us, why us? Did it get services? Services, contact, FAQs, and client reviews. Cool. All right, so now we'll move on to making our footer that currently looks like this, look like this. So let's get into it. So from our site, we're gonna hover over Edit with Elementor, Edit Footer. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get rid of this because we're not including that in this site. And then I can rearrange. So first let's get this logo in the center. So to do that, I will click the section and come over to horizontal align and vertical align and do middle. And now I'll click the logo icon and center it. Cool. So what we wanna do next is we wanna edit this left-hand section. So we'll click the text that we cannot see right now and we'll make it accent and we'll change the color to white. And we'll also go ahead and underline it. So. To do that, we'll come over to style, typography, decoration, underline. And then we'll come over to center it. Center, center our logos. And then we're just gonna copy this heading and paste it over here. And then we'll center our text. And then let's take a look and see how things are looking. Okay, things are looking pretty good. Let's discuss these. So we want our social icons to grow and we want our subscribe button to grow. So let's start with our social icons. So we're gonna come over to style and icon hover. We're gonna make our animation to be grow. Now they grow. All right, so for our form, what we wanna do is we wanna play with the spacing. So right now, this is set to 70% width. What we wanna do is we wanna make it 100, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm gonna come over to content, and then select the first option. I'm gonna make it 100%, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the button. 100%, perfect. Now, I'm gonna come over to the advanced tab and add um, padding. I don't really want to have that padding on the top anymore, so I'm going to zero that out and then I'm going to do 100. And oops, 100. That's a little too much, so let me try 80. That's better. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll play with this button format. So we'll come to style, down to button. We're going to change the border radius to three so it's a little more boxy and we're going to change the background color to gold and the text color to blue. And on hover, we don't want it to change. Okay, so it's not changing on hover, but we do want it to grow on hover, so we'll set that. Double check this, perfect. Now I just need to play with the field itself. So I'll come over to the fields and I'm gonna add a border width of three. Oops, wrong one. Border radius of three. Clear that out. Um, perfect. And then for our text color, we're gonna change that to navy. There we go. And if we did wanna change it from saying like you're at email, we would come to content and then down here and you can change this but I'll leave it as your. All right, so we are in pretty good shape. Let's just take care of this bottom bar. I'm gonna select the section, come to style and change it to navy. Now I'm going to play with the text. So I'll start by centering it and then text, text color is white, so that's good. What we wanna do is change the typography 
I don't think we have a global setting for this and that's fine. We can always manually update it. So let's try 12. All right, that's perfectly readable. Cool, so we are good here. That is it for the footer. So let's see our site in action. All right, so we've got our main header section, about us, why us, services, contact, FAQ, and client reviews. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we'll go over making the site responsive on different devices. I look forward to seeing you then.